Hello, hello everybody. This is Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace and I'm getting ready to do a live demo for you with the stencil of the month for June, July and it is Christmas themed. So I'm super excited to be sharing that with you. Um, this is what your envelope looks like when you join the stencil of the month club and you get an exclusive set of stencils come straight to your door. I'll tell you more about that later, but let's look at what has been revealed today as the new, well, I guess it's considered July. This is the July stencil, but you can order it now. You can join now and get the stencil. So this is what the stencil is. We're talking Christmas, baby. <laughs> Who loves to do their Christmas decor and signs and sign making before Christmas comes, right? So um, I think Essential Stencil knew that from a lot of the Essential Stencil fans who um, do make signs well ahead of hand. So they've created this set specifically to meet that need. So let's take a look. I'm gonna grab this feed, make sure it's working. There we go, found it. So now I can see hopefully comments. Whimsically Knotted is here, hello. Anne in North Carolina, hello, hello. Hi, Nancy. There's one of my text BFFs, Donna O'Leary. Whoop, whoop, Donna's in the house. Hello, Donna. And Barb is here from Wisconsin. Listen, make sure that you say hello because Essential Stencil during these daily lives gives away three sets of stencils to live viewers and another set to a replay watcher. So whether you're catching the replay or here live, you are more than welcome. We are so happy you're here. I'm honored to meet you and see you for those of you that know me, um, but make sure that you comment because then your name will be in kind of for the, for maybe the drawing to win. So here we go. Let me show you this stencil set. It's stinking cute and I've already started playing with it, you guys. I, I couldn't help myself, I already started. This one is a favorite, Better Not Pout, because I think that can be used. It's really cute, it's really, everybody knows that phrase for Christmas. Um, this one too, it says, oh snap, and the poor little ginger man, his little leg has snapped. <laughs> his little leg has snapped. Let's, um, let's bake stuff, I have to do it this way, otherwise I can't read it. Let's bake stuff, drink hot cocoa, and watch Christmas movies. That's a cute little set because it has the different fonts mixed in. Um, there's this, so these are bigger phrases. This is one of the ones I'm gonna use today. Baby, it's cozy inside, get it? That's kind of like a play on words from baby, it's cold outside. It's cozy inside. And then there's no place like home for the holidays. And I love these big words with the scrolly font, just so pretty. There's another text BFF, whoop, whoop. So these ladies who say text BFF, they are on my text subscription service through the Comfy Nest with Grace. The number is back there, but I can always give it to you if you need it. Get on our texting service so you get an alert. More importantly, get on the Essential Stencil one if you're a fan of Essential Stencil. That way you're getting alerts from Essential Stencil for when lives happen or new, um, new product reveals or things like that. So I've got a special offer to, to give to you guys today, which comes with the reveal of the new Christmas stencils. But let us let me finish showing you. I'm gonna use that one, so I'm gonna put it aside. Check this one out, ladies. I love me a pattern, and look at all these scrumptious, adorable Christmas trees. It's a big, I think this is the 12 by 16 size set of Christmas trees that are very little. So you can use this on a big surface or you can use them on little surfaces. You can stencil just a couple of these on a greeting card or a gift tag. They would be really, really cute. You guys, this is exclusive to the club. You need to be a member of the Stencil of the Month Club. I have a deal for you. If you want to join, you get a free month if you use my coupon code. And um, there are some other like goodies that come with how you sign up. You can sign up for you know one month at a time, three months for a time six months for a time, um, that's totally up to you. And there are different goodies depending on how you sign up. Nancy loves the Christmas trees. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. I'm glad you guys love this. So that's the three pack. This is the July stencil of the month. And if you join the club, you have the option every month to add on another stencil that is um, coordinates with the stencil of the month. So this is the add-on. You guys, this one is really special. It's really special. If you're already a member of the club and you um, don't currently get the add-on, um, I think you can just email them and ask them to add this. Um, make sure you're using my code, the Comfy Nest, um, when you do that. But look at this, treats for Santa. And it has these three little circles 
One says reindeer snacks. You put the little reindeer snacks in there. This one says cookies. You can put a stack of cookies and the milk glass. I think, and this is how they show it on the back. I'll show you in a minute. It's got Christmas trees and presents and candy canes. Um, all kinds of pretty little things on here. And I think this would make a beautiful tray for Santa. Like they have it here on a breadboard, like a cutting board. But how cute would that be on a on a wooden tray with the handles so that you can get the whole thing set up with the kids and put it out for Santa by the Christmas tree? This thing is darling, you guys. Really, really cute. Uh, and again, you can use any of these elements by themselves or use the whole thing together. New watcher from Missouri. Well, hello, Randy. Hello, hello, welcome. Crystal's here from South Jersey. Hello, Crystal. My name is, she's from the East Coast. I grew up in Massachusetts, so welcome, welcome. Um, who else is here? Debbie is here. Hey, text BFF. All right, let's get started. I am going to be creating, you guys, simple canvas panel. I need to get it painted, so I'm gonna start with that. It's just a simple, regular canvas panel, eight by 10. Um, Gosh, you can even get these at the Dollar Tree. Really, you, my Dollar Tree has them anyway. I'm going to put out a little mat. We are going to paint this, and I want a dark blue background. I'm going to be stenciling with white on top, so I always think in contrast, really dark background with a light um, stencil or vice versa. Really light background with a dark stencil so that your stencil design really shows up well. Um, I'm going to be using this amazing goodness. It's a texture paste that has sparkle. So, of course, we're going to sparkle. But first, we got to get this dark blue on here. I just grabbed two paints. You guys, the brand doesn't matter. The type doesn't matter. Use your favorite paints. I'm at the Comfy Nest. You'll hear me use the words often. Dis discover, explore experiment, try new things. I'm a huge fan of craft supplies. If you're a huge fan of craft supplies, tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments how big of a fan of craft supplies are you? Are you a complete hoarder? <laughs> like so many of us say we are. Or are you just starting and you're just like dabbling in it and you've got a few things in a, in a, in a little like a Rubbermaid tote or something for yourself? Either way, use your stash. Use your stash. I just grabbed two paint colors. A dark blue that I thought was really pretty. I'll tell you the name, of course, because somebody's going to ask. And a light blue. Dark blue, light blue, doesn't matter the name. This one is Apple Barrel. It's called Blue Kazoo, if you really love it. This one is Apple Barrel. It's called Blue Cotton. Now, listen, I live in a pretty small town in the middle of North Dakota. <laughs> uh, we don't have a whole lot of stores here. We have a Walmart. We have a Dollar Tree. All the other big supply stores like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Fabric, um, Michael's, Lowe's, Home Depot, all those stores are 90 miles away from me. So I do a lot of shopping online. But of course, Walmart, we have a little like three aisle section of craft supplies and I'm able to get this at Walmart. Any paint will do. I will say though, when you get to your stenciling part, you're going to want thicker paint. Um, you can use Apple Barrel, but it's a, it, this is a thinner formula. It comes out real easy and it's not, um, it doesn't have any, um, what's the word? It doesn't have any like structure to it. It's not a, like when you pour this paint out on, on a craft mat or on a, um, surface, it's going to kind of like move into a puddle. There are some paints, is it viscosity that have a thicker viscosity? I think that's the word where you put it on here and it's going to look like frosting. It's going to keep its shape exactly the way you put it on here. Some even create a little peak. The thicker paints are easier to stencil with just FYI. Um, but we're going to use this to do our base and then I'm going to use Apple Barrel again to stencil with. And we'll talk about stencil tips here in a few minutes. Tita says, I'm a supply hoarder. Listen, I love you guys who supply hoarders because I'm the same way. I have so many supplies and I love to use them all. So I encourage you guys, use up your stash, man. Use it up. I can't see if you guys can see everything here. So I got to move those comments away. There we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. Use your supplies, dip into them, experiment, mix and match, like try different things. Um, you're welcome, Trina, on the thicker paint. She said, thank you for the tip on the thicker paint. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to teach and tell you what I know, tell you what I've learned over many <laughs> decades of crafting and creating and share. And I just want to inspire you guys and encourage you to create and craft on a daily basis, especially if it brings joy. If it brings you joy, if it brings your heart joy, do it often. Do it often. Okay. 
This is that blue kazoo. It's a really pretty blue, but it's actually coming out lighter on here than I wanted. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab even a darker blue because I want a really dark background. Let's just grab a darker one. This is Admiral Blue. I've already started, doesn't matter. Let's get some, oh, paint booger-ish. Paint boogers, that's what I call the little crusty things that fall off of your paint bottle. All right, let's add some of, whoa. Oh, I didn't mean to put that much. Let's get some of that down here. Look at it doesn't matter. We're just gonna literally slap this paint on here. And what I wanted to do is, I'm not a huge fan of solid paint color backgrounds. I'm just not. I like there to be some more visual interest. Um, you know, it's not that I don't ever do a solid background, but I'm not a huge fan of it, so you don't see me do it very often. So what I thought I would do is to mix the dark blue with the light blue but I think it's turning out that I need the two dark blues for, for the look that I'm going for. I want it really kind of like a midnight sky, not quite black, but you know what I'm saying, just really dark. All right, we're gonna get this on here and I'm, I got it all wet and now I'm working on brush strokes just to make sure the brush strokes are similar, you know, that they look similar to each other and wouldn't you know it, little paint booger, you stinkers. I'm gonna grab an X-Acto knife so I can get this out of here. It's just a little bit of dry paint that came off of that, the top of that paint um, bottle. Not a big deal. We're just, we dig it out of there and then we're just going to smooth out our paint. Now listen, I think I want it even darker. Can you see there's a little bit of white showing through? And I want there to be streaks. I want it to be a blended paint coat but I want it to be a little darker. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we will, we're gonna add a little more paint to that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the paint. This is a very inexpensive watered down paint. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want from the get go, when you put the paint down for it to be full coverage, just buy a more expensive paint. There are lots of options out there. This happens to be a very inexpensive craft paint. So it's kind of like you, you get what you pay for. So we're gonna have to put more than one coat. It's okay. It's okay, let me check the comments. Take a sip of water. Mm-hmm. Someone said, Trina said, Essential Stencil is offering some terrific deals on Stencil at the Month Club. Yes, okay. Ellen's watcher from her campsite in Washington. Ellen, you are a total Essential Stencil fan rock star. That is committed, girlfriend. Thank you for hanging out with us, I love that. Okay, so here, while this is drying, let me just, I had to get notes because it's a, new, it's a brand new offer. They just announced it yesterday to the brand ambassadors and I'm the first brand ambassador to go live. So whoopee, I get to tell you all about it. All right, this is the Stencil of the Month Club. This, like for a limited time, you can get a free month when you use my code, the Comfy Nest, okay? Use any of the ambassador codes. Use your favorite ambassador code. I would really appreciate it if you use mine because it's our income, of course. So please, when you're shopping, use a code. It helps us and it helps you because it gives you a discount. So the discount right now on the Stencil of the Month Club is a free month in the club. So sign up today. You have to sign up for a minimum of two months to get this deal. So it's like buy one, get one free. Um, but in addition to that, there are three options in the way that you can sign up. You can sign up for a monthly plan and it's $25 a month plus shipping. Basically, it's a little under 25 um, and you get exclusive design sent to your door every month. You get access to the DIY videos and the exclusive private community on Facebook just for club members and brand ambassadors. Um, and, and it's easy. Like you don't even have to think about it until you're ready to pause it or skip a month or cancel. Then you just email them and let them know that. So that's your first option. If you go for three months at a time, it, you get a deal. So it's less money. It's $23 a month plus shipping. Um, Oh, the other thing is there's an exclusive shop just for a stencil of the club, stencil of the month club members that you guys have access to. So not only do you get this month's ex um, exclusive stencil, but then you can shop from all the past ones that are still in stock. So if there's one that you've seen before that you're like, man, I wish I had that. Now's the time to join. Even if it's for the two month period, buy one, get one free. Basically you're getting a month free. Then you can shop in the exclusive shop, get what you want use my code, the comfy nest. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, and then you can decide if it's, if you want to stick with it or not. 
The third option is to sign up for, and you prepay for six months at a time. You are gonna save, what's the savings on that? It's $20 a month and you save $30, plus they give you a $25 gift card to use in the shop. So if you prepay for six months, that's a pretty big deal. Okay, so anyway, those are your options. I just quickly went over them for you. Now I get another paint booger. <laughs> I went over them quickly for you. Um, but you can go to stencilofthemonthclub.com and read all about it. You can, if you're really interested, if you really want to know more. Let's get some, oh, let me dry this just a bit because it's still really wet and I want another coat. If I go in while it's still wet, it's just going to move my paint around. So I really do need to make sure it's dry. And then on the next coat, I might blend in a little bit of that light paint. Um, yes. Terry's asking, are the things in the exclusive shop different than the ones in the regular shop? Yes, they are. They are only available to Stencil of the Month members. Now, Stencil of the Month members can still shop all the other stuff that's on the public website, but this shop is exclusively for you guys, those of you who are a member. If you're a club member, give us a shout out in the comments and tell us what you love about it. Do you love the community? the private Facebook community, which is phenomenal. There are some amazingly talented people in there who are constantly sharing their project photos and asking questions and things like that. Um, what do you love about it? Tell us, do you like the exclusive um, offers? Do you like it coming straight to your door once a month? We'd love to know, tell us. Cindy says, I want to sign up, but I'm really finding it hard to come up with the money. So this is a good deal for you, Cindy, because you're going to get a month for free. Meantime, you can figure out, is this something I can do every month? And if I, if I do, you can budget, sign up for three months or six months and get a bigger deal like that six month offer. You're saving $30 and then they give you $25 credit toward the, the, the store, the exclusive store. So you're really like getting 55 bucks back which is really nice. So anyway, I want you to know that all of those options are there for you. Should you want to join and like Cindy, you kind of like struggle with, can I do this? Give it a whirl and you can always cancel or skip if you decide not to do it anymore. All right, look at that's pretty dry. This new, my new little heat gut tool really works well. All right, we're gonna add some more blue, dark blue paint and then I'm gonna blend in some others because I want it to be a really um, blended look to this paint job. Kathy says, I can't wait to get these stencils. Kim is loving the new offers. Yes, they're awesome. Um, Don says, I love the stencil of the month club. The community is amazing. I love, love, love the stencils. Yes, we, I mean, they're just awesome, right? Look at you guys. I'm a messy, um, I, I'm a cheater. <laughs> I'm a cheating girl. Like I'm a messy uh, crafter who cheats. Like I don't do anything the way they probably would teach you in art school. I've never gone to art school. I wish I had. I was a business major. Oh, look at, see the difference? Second coat. Second coat, same paint color. Um, although this one had a little bit of that lighter blue in there. It's the second coat of that same paint color. And look at how dark and beautiful that is. That's what I was going for, a darker color. But I'm going to mix in. Do you see the difference with that second coat? Amazing. So Apple Barrel Paint, you can make it work. It's just going to be a little more effort. Like you're probably going to have to put more coats. Now I want to blend a little bit. So to blend paints, I'm kind of going for a nighttime sky here. Oh, man. I don't know if these paint boogers are coming from my paintbrush. My, like I picked almost a new paintbrush, but um, I'm kind of going for a nighttime sky here. Uh, so I'm going to get it all wet with the dark paint and then we're going to add some lighter paint to this. Come on. It's probably coming from the cap every time I turn this around. Again, I'm a cheater. I don't, I take out, I take the shortcut <laughs> a lot of, the, a lot of times I'm the shortcut girl. I'm the cheater. I'm the lazy, messy imperfect crafter so if you um, want to craft if you're intimidated by like the true profession <laughs> not that I'm not a professional but I mean I, this is my business this is how I earn income but I encourage you guys to explore experiment and enjoy it just have fun with it rather than reaching for being perfect because that that'll take the fun out of it okay this is the medium I want a little bit lighter up here on the top so I'm going to put a drop of medium and a, just a bit of this lighter. And I'm kind of going for um, some streaks of lighter color of blue. I don't want it, 
I don't want a solid blue paint color. I want it to be, you know me guys, you know that I like to blend paints. So I'm gonna see that I'm getting kind of a blended paint on there. Isn't that pretty? So your paints need to be wet though. That's the real key here. Your paints need to be wet in order for you to blend paint. Uh, you can't blend paint when it's dry. If you want the two colors to blend together to create like a really soft, what I'm getting here, this really soft, almost a little bit ombre, but I'm not going for a, a, like a sequence here. I'm just adding some light paint to the top here. Oh, that might be too much. I'm going to take just a bit of that off and put it on my craft mat because it go a little bit goes a long way. Now, the reason I pulled this out is because every time I touch this mat, I'm getting fingerprints on it. So if you want to avoid the fingerprints, I often use this like a, an X-Acto knife to just hold down my panel so that it doesn't budge on me. And this doesn't leave any mark whatsoever if I just keep it in one spot. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little more of that light blue See, that I think is really pretty. It's not a solid blue. It's a little lighter up here than it is down here. That it's a lot of times I use my X-Acto knife for more than just cutting things. <laughs> my paint is drying down here, so it's a little harder to blend. And if that happens to you, just go back in with a little bit of the darker color and then add your lighter and then you'll be able to get that blend look again. Otherwise, it's gonna look dry brushed, which means the, the bottom coat, the dark coat has dried and then you're dry brushing the light one on top. I don't want dry brush, I want blended. All right, oh my gosh, is that pretty. We're done here, I think we're done. I think we're done with this, girls, let's see. Guys and girls, are there any guys here with us? I'm gonna check comments here in a minute. All right. Ah, I want to hold it up, but I can't yet because it's wet and I don't want to get my fingerprints on it again. So this is my base. Oh, I missed this little corner. It needs just a little, a little attention. It doesn't even matter because I'm going to show you. I'm going to frame this. Um, I'm going to dry it a little bit. Then we're going to get stenciling. Let me check the comments. I am loving these, Melissa said. Hey, Melissa. Hello, hello. Melissa is a new brand ambassador for Essential Stencil. Go check out her page, The Graceful Barn. She's super talented too. Um, hey, Casey, good morning. Connie says, looks great as usual. Oh, that gives me all the warm fuzzies. That gives me all the warm fuzzies, thank you. All right, I think that's sufficiently dry. The other thing I love about um, like acrylic paints, most acrylic paints and chalk based paints, they're gonna give you a matte finish. I'm not a huge fan. I know Amanda from Metal Modern loves the paints from Master's Touch. These paints, and they, they kind of have a shine to them that I don't love, but they're nice and thick. They have a really thick viscosity. So if these are really good to stencil with, I just, I don't love the look of them because they're shiny and I like a matte finish, but look at you guys, look at that blended. Somebody said it looks like a starry sky. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's gonna be so pretty to stencil on. I'm gonna put my blue aside. Don't need that paintbrush anymore. I've got my stencil brushes ready to go. These are from the Essential Stencil Set. If you don't have them, use my code, The Comfy Nest, and grab one or two sets. Comes with four of different sizes. I've just pulled out two that I'm gonna use. We can put all these blues aside. We're getting ready for some white and for some sparkle. Who loves some sparkle? <laughs> you guys are saying hi to Melissa, I love it. All right, and I'm glad. Thank you Essential Stencil for being here. Um, it's, it's challenging to do the demo and um, see all the comments. If I miss your comment and you're talking to me, I apologize. I do try to go back over the next few days through the weekend even. Um, I'll be sitting with my family and I'll be going through the comments, trying to respond to people and answer questions. And thank you for your kind comments. Um, I'd love to do that and to connect with you that way. So I will try to do that. But thank you, Essential Stencil, for being here. If you have questions, they're here and they're monitoring the comments so they can answer your questions, which is fabulous. Okay. Baby, it's cozy inside. I think this can be up, not just at Christmas time. I think this can be up all 
cold weather months, which here in North Dakota means like, for me, <laughs> like October through April, May is cold here, as far as I'm concerned in North Dakota. I want to position this horizontally and I'm going to put this up top and then I'm going to do something with those Christmas trees down here that I think will be really cute. I don't know what, but what's nice about these stencils are really thick. You can hear it. These are not flimsy. They are thick mylar stencils. They're reusable. You can wash them very easily. Um, it, they're thick, but they're not so thick that you can't see through them. I can still see through it and I can see my board so I can position this and make sure that it's straight and make sure that it's where I want it to be. You guys, I can't decide. Do I want to use Baby It's Cold or do I want to use There's No Place Like Home? I think I'm going to, I think I'll use Baby It's a Cozy inside. Now listen, I'm a short girl and this is hitting me right here. So I'm going to flip this this way so that I can still stand at my table top and it not be bumping my tummy there. It just makes it hard to reach for, for, us, for us short girls. <laughs> when you're, what do they call it? Um, vertically challenged. Is that what some people say? I might do some sparkle even on the letters here, but we gotta get it down first. Now, here's my warning, word of warning to you. If it's going in a frame, if this is a stretched canvas that you can just put straight up on the wall, or even, I, sometimes I, I just prop these up on a, on a shelf without it even being a stretched canvas. If it's going in a frame, regardless, if it's going in a frame, make sure you leave enough space on the edges for the frame because it's gonna to have to sit inside the frame and usually there's a little wooden lip, like a, a 16th of an inch or an eighth of an inch, it depends on your frame, that's gonna cover your panel. So make sure you don't go right up to the top, right up to the edge. You have to leave a little space so that your frame has a place um, to go and you're not gonna cover up that gorgeous design you just made. Okay, that's it, place it down. I am not, taping because I told you I'm the cheater I'm the messy cheating lazy crafter <laughs> I don't know what else how else to say it okay my texture medium my sparkle texture medium it's actually called sparkle paste whipped cream so it's a sparkle but it's also a paste it has a texture to it I could go straight in on the blue with that but it's a little translucent and I want it to be really bright and show up really well. So we're gonna go in first with a bit of white to give it an underlay that is bright and white. Um, it doesn't even need to be perfect. I just want full coverage for the fact that when I put texture medium on top of these designs, that sparkle, I want what shows up behind it because it's translucent to be white and bright. You could use whatever color you want. You could use yellow, you could use any bright color. I just chose white because I love the blue and white. I have a lot of blue and white in my house. Like I have actually more of a teal blue and I'm stippling, you see? I'm just going up and down. You could hear it. Oh, I had too much paint. I did not offload right there. We'll see what we get. Sometimes you get, if you don't offload, I'm hitting some places that I missed. If you don't offload, so you add the paint on and then you come to a place I call it the land, <laughs> the land of uh, offload and the, what I call it the store where you get your new, your new paste. Let me edge you guys down. I got to reach short girl challenge here. There, now you can see my Lando offload. So here's my store where my paint is, that my blob of paint. I grab it from there and then I come to the land of offload where there's no paint and I mix it into the brush. I make it go up and into those bristles at, so that what you're bringing to your stencil isn't wet and drippy and goopy. You don't want wet, you don't want glistening paint. You want it to basically just be in the bristles. So grab it from here, offload it. We call it offload, but truly what's happening is that paint is being worked into, up into those beautiful, gorgeous essential stencil bristles so that it can then deposit it wherever you pounce or move your brush on your project. So we say offload, 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 but really maybe we should think of that in an opposite way. It's really loading up your brush in a healthy way for good, um, 
what was the word I was going to use? Good, um, mess free, bleed free stenciling. I need more paint. So here, I'm going to create a new store. I call it the store because it's where I go to get my paint. I come over here to this blob of paint. That's my store. I grab paint. Look, girls. That's too much paint. See how uneven it is and see how there's a gloppy bit right on the top there? You don't want that. You wanna work it into those bristles really nicely. If you're using a foam dauber, it's basically the same. If you use a makeup wedge, basically the same. You need to get it worked up into your applicator so that it can then deposit it evenly and you don't have like streaks of paint. <laughs> Am I preaching? I don't mean to be preaching. I'm just trying to teach. I'm, I'm not preaching, I'm teaching girls. And I know a lot of you have heard this over and over again, but, but for those new viewers who are just getting into stenciling, I feel like it's really important to teach you that. Roxanne loves the trees, aren't they darling? I do too. I think greeting cards, like backgrounds for greeting cards, I think um, backgrounds for anything, really. I think that would be really sweet. You could put that all over a mirror in your house. Those trees at Christmas time as a frame around a mirror in the kid's bathroom. How cute would that be to do that on Christmas? To surprise them with a little bit of Christmas decoration in their bathroom. Or in the house, the, you know, the main half bath in the house. All right, we're almost done with this part. Then we're going to get to the trees and then we're going to add some of that texture paste. Look at that. So I'm going to hinge this back. What I mean by hinge, to check on my little uh, stencil job here. I hold it down firmly in one place. This is where I have the most space to do it. And then I hinge this back. So I wanna keep the placement just in case I have to fix anything. So I hinge this back to look and study. And my B on baby and my C up here need a little bit of reinforcement. This part of my C and the bottom of my B and this B. Need a little reinforcement. It just doesn't look as dark right there. Bottom of this D. I'm just checking. You can't probably see it, but I'm just checking to see how even the coverage is. And I'm just reinforcing those places that need a little bit more coverage. I bought a new makeup, ladies. Can I tell you? Let's have a little girlfriend chat here. Bought a new makeup and I bought it too light. <laughs> like, have you ever done that? Like I bought a new foundation and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not going for a China doll look here. <laughs> it's too, especially in, this, in the summer when everybody has a little bit of color from being out gardening or going for a walk or a bike ride. I have to go get more makeup. Yeah, I'm better with paint than I am makeup. To be truthful with you, Oh, look at, okay, you guys, this part's done. So I'm going to peel this up, put it aside. I can clean this later. Isn't that cute, you guys? I think I'm going to go over the word cozy, I think, with the sparkle. But I got to get some trees on here first, and we're going to sparkle the trees for sure, because I already practiced it. Do I have my practice here? I think I threw it out. I already practiced it, and it's adorable with the sparkle. So let's get this dried up. I'm going to check comments. Oh, I'm so glad Jay says, I love that. Oh, thanks, Jessica. <laughs> she says, that's so cute. Listen, listen. Essential stencil makes it really easy to make cute things, right? They do all the design work. We just have to apply it however we want. Oh, Mindy, I'm so glad. Hey, Joyce Ann. And there's Nancy. Yay, it's good to see all of you. Hey, Mary Grace Taglioni. Hello, hello, friend. All right, I think it's dry enough. It's important that it's dry because when I put down this other stencil, put down this other stencil to put some trees in here, um, and this is going to hit this, and you want to make sure that it's not going to smudge on you, right? So we're going to put this down. Okay, these trees, there's a row up high, and then these trees that are just below it, it's just rows of trees, they actually fit. Um, I want one row of trees, so I'm going to use the top row, and then I'm going to use the bottom row, and that's going to come straight across. So I'm going to have to move my stencil 
at least once because I'm gonna use the two different rows to make one single row because I only have room for one row. So I'm just checking my placement here. So I'm checking the outside edge of this last tree and the outside edge of this last tree to make sure that if I place this here, they're both gonna just make it onto this panel. In fact, maybe I should even skip those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight of them. So number four, in between number four and four would be my center point. The, the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here's my center in between those two trees. That's another way to look at how to center things if you're struggling with that. I'm gonna go directly under my words because again, I wanna leave enough space here for my frame because I'm gonna stick it in a frame. I'm gonna go over just a little bit to make sure that those two trees fit. Okay, I know this looks a little wacky. I'm gonna do this lower level of trees first with the white, and then I'm gonna come in, dry it, I'm gonna lower that down, and I'm gonna add these other ones to it to make one single row, if that makes sense. So I hope that this demonstrates for you that even though you've been given a design on the stencil, you can rearrange, um, you can just do whatever your little heart and head can imagine for different arrangements with these stencils to create some really, really cute designs. Okay, I think I'm ready to go in on it. I'm just making sure I'm straight here. All right, we're gonna do it, girls. This I might have to tape down. Oh boy, you know what? My tape I think is across the room. Oh, you lucky dog. I'll tell you how I'm lucky in a minute here. I got hair in my face. I have to tape this down. I'm just thinking this through and I have, I gots to do it. I don't usually tape, but I gots to do it because, and I'm lucky, I have a bulletin board right here. You can't see it, but I always stick my tape that I've used up here if it can be used again because I'm the, I'm the lazy cheap crafter, right? So I, I, am gonna, I am gonna take this down and on a very light setting, I'm gonna dry this. The reason why, now don't use a hot setting, you don't wanna melt anything here, right? And these things can get pretty hot, that's why I'm testing it. I wanna dry this because before I move this, I'm gonna put the sparkle texture medium on it. It's just gonna make it easier for me so I don't have to try to reposition again. So I'm gonna dry it. These are very little trees. They have a lot of little intricate parts to them and I'm gonna do the two rows, but I wanna sparkle them. Maybe I'll just sparkle one row, let's see. Let's just see, I don't know. I have an idea, but sometimes I change my mind as I go, like with the blue paint color. Spackle knife, I have a little one. This is my texture medium. You can buy all kinds of texture medium. The one that I found has sparkle in it, which actually, if I open this up, you can see all that glorious sparkle. Look at that. Man, that is some serious sparkle. And I love that iridescent, like pearlescent look to it. It's thick. Like, see how thick it is? It's, it's a thick texture medium. Usually texture mediums are thick like that. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit. I don't want that much. Put a little bit on here and I'm going to run it over the stencil to fill in the design so that it's gonna be on top of the white paint and it's gonna fill in my tree and make it all sparkly and pretty. So I'm just gonna fill this in and kind of scrape off so that it's nice and straight. That one was a little challenging because it's at the edge there. So I'm just dragging, the, the texture medium is on the spackle knife. I'm gonna put that down and then I'm gonna I'm gonna drag it so that it fills in the stencil. So put a dab of the paste up top and then drag it down so that it fills in the stencil, okay? I'm holding, you can see I'm holding the stencil down with this hand because I want it to be as flat as possible on that canvas. Now I will say to you, it is best if you're gonna use a texture medium adhesive or anything that you don't let these stencils sit. You gotta clean them right away. This is done, I'm gonna take it up. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna do another layer of these, look at you guys. So I'm hoping I can get you that sparkle, let's see. Let's see if I can get you a little bit of a view. There it is, you can see that iridescent there. 
on that big tree. So the white in the background, what that did for me is it brightened up the whole design. You can really see it on that tree. See it? See that sparkle? So because they're so intricate, like look at how intricate this tree is. I felt like it would be easier to just do it, dry it, the paint, and then do the texture medium with the sparkle before I move the stencil. And that's a little special because I'm moving the stencil. Um, if you weren't, didn't have to move it, you could just do it all at once and be done. If I took it off, let it dry, and then tried to put the stencil back down, it would likely, I wouldn't be able to line it up real well because these are so intricate. Now, baby wipe, the one I've been using to clean my hands, I'm gonna go in and get that texture medium off before it dries on there because it's gonna be tough to get off if you don't. It's a thick texture medium. Same thing with adhesives, foils, anything that you're using with your stencils, and you can use all those things. These would make the most adorable greeting cards. I don't mind the paint being on there. I wanted to get that um, texture medium off. So I just did a quick, it's not completely clean from the paint, but it does not have any more texture medium. Okay, so my goal was to do another row because look what we have now. And then that other row is going to fill in these blanks, that other row of trees. That was my idea anyway. <laughs> so what are we thinking? I'm going to dry this while I look at comments. Oh, Terry, thank you for saying that. You are a love. That really makes, that warms my heart to, that you said that. She said, you're so fun to watch. I hope so. I hope you just have fun hanging out with me while I'm crafting and teaching you new things. Oh, very pretty. So cute. Thank you for all the comments. Nicole says, I can't wait to use that gingerbread man with that little broken foot or leg. How cute is that? I agree. Thank you for sprinkling. Yes, please share this out there if you find value from it. Share it in one of your groups if they allow it. Um, not all of them allow sharing other videos. This thing makes short order of the drying. Um, so I'm gonna really focus on this. I need it to be nice and dry so I can put that stencil back down. I prefer, you guys, I love a little glitter. I love um, like the glam and glitter of a little bit of sparkle, but I don't love, I just don't love working with the loose glitter. Um, so I tend to find paints and texture mediums that have that glitter in it. Just because I do love it, I just don't like working with messy glitter. That is, it's a little bit tacky it's just a little bit tacky. I'm gonna go, this this one has the most. It's the biggest one, it has the most. So I'm gonna give it this just another second here, you guys. Thank you for being patient. All right, I really, um, you know, it's a, I feel more pressure when, um, when you're live and you're trying to do it within a time frame. I get it. My cord is all tangled up here. When you're live and trying to do it in a time frame, there definitely is a little more pressure. Uh, when you are doing this at home alone or with a group of girlfriends with a glass of wine or a cup of tea or whatever you're doing, when you're, when you're doing this on your own, please take your time. You don't have to try to move it along so quickly. It's okay to just let that sit and dry on its own. Go get another cup of tea, go change the music on the on Pandora, like whatever you wanna do. Um, you don't have to rush it so much, but when you watch us and we're a little rushed, it's because we're trying to be respectful of your time and we, want, we know you wanna get out of here too. You wanna see it, but you got things to do. So, um, okay, here was that second row. That was the trees that I just did. I gotta drop this down one, row and it's going to fill in the spaces with this other row of trees. I don't get worked up. I just don't. It's not me about things being perfect. So if it's a little wonky, I don't generally get worked up. And because of time, I don't spend a ton of time checking and rechecking. I just don't. I just, I just get on with it, girls. I just get on with it. Okay. 
a little bit of white paint. We're going to dry it and then we're going to we're going to stencil. This actually is going to be this one looks like it's going to be a little bit off. But it's okay. It's all good. It's still going to be stinking cute. So, I hope that just shows you you can move your stencils around. Remember, this is going underneath the texture paste. So this paint job we want coverage, but it doesn't need to be uber, uber perfect. Here we go again, trying to dry. And just crossing my fingers that that tree underneath really is dry and I'm not mucking up that sparkle. I want that pretty dry before I go in with that texture. Oh, yes. All right. Time for some sparkle. Sparkle texture. I get so excited. Can you tell? Oh, I'm so behind on comments. Oh, thanks, Janet. You guys, Janet's saying, I love your ideas. Kim is saying, love this idea. Diane, you're my kind of girl. She says, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. It does not. What matters is that you find joy from it, that you enjoy the projects that you make, either by gifting them away or hanging them in your house um whatever but the, the the joy of it is way more important than the perfection of it and i understand that's hard i do I, I call myself a recovering perfectionist so i do understand it okay we're grabbing a little bit of texture medium we're going to dot it like kind of place it down on the stencil and then we're going to drag it through the stencil i'm missing just a little bit i need just a little bit more on this half I can see I just did not fill that real well. Same thing here. I got a dot of it. We're going to put it at the top of the tree. We're going to drag it down. It's that easy. Got a little dot. It's like the size of a pencil eraser. It's not much. Holding down with my left hand, I want to hold that as flat as I can so that I don't get a lot of like bleed through with this texture medium. There. Done. I'm putting this back in because... I can reuse it. There's no need to waste that. I'm going to put this in my water, get the sparkle off my fingers, cover this bad boy up. Now listen, um, if you are enjoying this, I would be really honored if you would come over to the Comfy Nest with Grace and join our, my community there. Follow the page so that you get, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Follow the page so you get posts. Join my text alert. Join my free craft community, the Crafty Chicks Club all the things I would love to have you. You guys, are you kidding me with this row of trees? Do you see how cute this is? Now listen, I don't mean to pat myself on the back, but I didn't really do the work here. <laughs> Essential Stencil did the design. I just added all the things to make it like super cute on a, a panel here. I'm gonna dry this, I'm gonna pop it in a frame because I want you to see how cool and how dressed up this can get when you pop it in a frame. Um, this is your chance to ask any questions. I'll, I'll check the comments here as they're going by and I'm drying, so ask the questions that you have that I can answer. Anita loves the sparkles, I do too. The trees are so stinking cute. I almost wish there were some medium and large ones of these same designs. That would make a really cute frame on a mirror, you guys. You could put that all around a mirror at like the holiday time. That would be, a, well, all Christmas, like at all winter that could stay up. You would just want to make sure you're using a paint that's appropriate for a mirror. This is so cute. Um, thank you, Mindy. She said you did a great job. Thank you. The trees, Trina, they're adorable. <laughs> Ellen says, watching you and the ambassador is always so enjoyable and learn so much. I want to see that comment, Miss Ellen. Uh, what else did you say here? I think of it as my daily meditation. Oh, I love it. I love it. And crafting is kind of my, my, that's why my, my paid membership group is called the craft therapy club because we craft together on a regular basis, live, I'm um, in a private group, but it's because crafting is our therapy. It's like our downtime. It's our fun time. Okay. Here's a close up of it, but let's get it. And what I what I wanted to show you, so I have this really simple frame, really simple frame here, you guys. 
Um, and I'll be honest with you, with a project like this, generally, with a project like this, these panels pop really easily in here, but with a project like this in my house, you do you, I always say you do you. I take the glass out because I want to see the sparkle, I want to see the texture. The texture medium is a little raised up and has a really gorgeous sheen to it, and I wanna see that. So a lot of times when I design, I take it out of the, um, I wanna show you something really quick. I take the glass out. This is what I was talking to you about. This part right here, this lip right here where I'm touching. Do you see that little indentation there? That's where your project is gonna fit into the frame. So if you wanna frame it, that's what I was saying to you, is you wanna leave enough space here so that it's not touching your project. My trees are probably gonna get covered up a little bit because they're right to the edge. How is this gonna go like this? But you can wedge these in here. Most frames can handle. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, look at that as a little gift to give somebody for their mantelpiece, for their desk, for the shelf, for their kitchen um, buffet, like, you know, like their island in their kitchen. How cute is that? I love, I love leaving it without the glass because I, then I can see the texture of the paint and the paste and the texture mediums all working together. Um, so don't forget, when you do your projects on your skinny little flat um, canvases, that a frame you may already even have at home or you can get at the store can make a really nice decorative piece or gift for somebody. Um, this would make a great little wedding gift for somebody for their, for their wintertime decor. All right, let's see if there are any questions. Melvis says, beautiful, I'm so glad you guys love it. I'm so glad. Essential stencil makes it easy because of the thick mylar stencil. Those, um, those ones that sell the thin stencils, they don't give you near the quality. She's so right about that. She's right. That's why there are so many Essential Stencil fans. <laughs> Barb, <laughs> I've resisted for over a year, but I think it's the month. I need to join Stencil of the Month Club. Girl, use my code, The Comfy Nest, and get a month for free. Use your favorite ambassador's code. I would love it if you'd use mine. I'd be honored and it really does help my small business, all of us. That's our that's our income. So we appreciate when you use our code. It also gives you the free month. So go sign up, Barb. The Comfy Nest is my code. Um, it's called, Annette is asking what kind of uh, medium am I using? It's from Little Birdie and it's called Sparkle Paste Whipped Cream and it comes in different colors. I just bought two of them. I'm gonna hold it up close to answer Annette's question. It comes in different colors. Um, there, here's a green one, and that was the clear one that I used, if you can see. Well, you can see better from the bottom. So it does come in different colors. I bought two of them. Um, I sell some Little Birdie craft items on my website, the Comfy Nest with Grace. Dot com, but I don't have these in stock, but if you want them, let me know, because I could get them for you for sure. I'm looking for other questions. Yeah, you don't need the glass, Debbie. I don't think, anyway, the glass definitely makes it more formal looking. Um, and so I always say, like you do you, I don't like the glass, I take it out, because I like the matte look to it. Uh, let's see. Could you use etching cream on a mirror? You could, Fran, but check with the etching cream. It may not be erasable, right? So you would want to use something like a chalk paste would be erasable, and I know you know what chalk paste is, Fran, because you're, you're a member of my monthly club. Um, so you wanna make sure that it's something that's erasable if you want to erase it off eventually. If you want it to be permanent, etching cream would be perfect. This is so stinking adorable. Amy, I love your comment. <laughs> All right, let's look at the winners. Winners are Becca Gleason, Ellen Purvis Mitchell, and Brenda Webb Benoit. We got some crafty chicks. So my text BFFs, you guys just won some stencils. If you're catching the replay, don't forget to comment because they'll choose another winner in the next 24 hours. But congratulations to Brenda and Ellen and Becca. You guys all just won. Make sure you email them with your email address and your mailing address so they can send you a set. 
join the Stem Soul Month Club now. Use my code, The Comfiness. You guys, I hope you got something out of this, that you enjoyed hanging out with us today. I'm live every Thursday here on the Essential Stencil page, or you can grab me on other days over at The Comfiness with Grace. You guys, take care. Thanks for joining me. I gotta reach over really far to shut this off. Bye.